Wake up, new mid journey update just dropped and it's absolutely amazing. You can find it by hitting forward slash settings and then you'll see it here, version 5.1. There is also a raw mode, which is more like the original version five, where longer, more detailed prompts will be better. This new version, 5.1 by default is easy mode. You can write really short prompts and get unreal pictures. Let me show you. Boom, starting off hot with dog. If you were to write dog in version five, you'd get like a realistic looking dog. Kind of boring. If you write dog in 5.1, you get some stunning creative images. So much fun. I tried cool dog. Certainly a very cool looking pup right here. I tried the coolest dog ever, stained glass. Beautiful stuff. <laughs> look at his eyes in number four. But look how creative these generations are when you type in nonsense. The Aurora Champion. Look how gorgeous these are, man. Every single one of them. Stunning, stunning artwork. I got a little crazy watercolor sculpture of an atomic bomb. I didn't know what it would create, but I'm having a lot of fun testing 5.1. Look how pretty these are. I mean, number one and three at least, very pretty. And that's something to note about 5.1. The highest quality image is not really that big of a difference between 5.1 and five, but the lowest quality images have been improved immensely. Instead of one out of four pictures being okay, now it's more like three out of four are gonna be great. Let me quickly show you what the stylized value you can do to 5.1. Here's portrait of an Instagram model, glitch core style at S0, where mid journey is gonna follow your prompt much more strictly, but make things less beautiful. And these are cool, but you know, not that great. Watch what happens when we bump up the style value a little bit. S75, these are sick, man. I love number three so much. I think that's so gorgeous. Number one's not bad too. Here it is at the default. Look at these, dude. Oh my God, two is amazing. Look at the yellow in number Number three and number four look at that perspective how it's like fading behind her ah that's amazing s400 super trippy love number three. Oh, they're all so good here it is with a little bit of chaos at chaos four what chaos does is add variety to the generations each image is going to look a little different from each other i think this did a great job number two is so cool four as well look how it distorts the background here's stylized 1000 mid journey at its most creative love 5.1 one. Love what it, oh, they're all so good. Here it is at Chaos 40, S400. Look how different each picture is to each other. Crazy. And oh my God, it's good at poetry again. I've been waiting for this, man. I've been waiting for this since version three. I think version three was the last time we could really use poetry in our prompts. Starting in version four, Mid Journey didn't really know what to do when you didn't say something that made sense. Like here, if love was a sin, it's one of my favorite version three prompts. And now 5.1 does something with it. It makes an artistic picture. It interprets what I said. I can't get enough of that. Here it is at S400. Gorgeous. A lot going on. Really thought-provoking artwork. S400 Chaos 4. Oof. I like number three a lot. That's super subtle, minimal, sleek. The tomb of our choosing. Gorgeous. Time ticks until it stops. I love number two. This apocalyptic stopwatch here. Crazy. The third option before bed. Look at number four. Puts her in this little aquarium. It's got that painted feel. So nice. Careful steps lead to brash leaps. I don't know what that means. I just made it up. <laughs> Look how good these pictures are. Number four is unreal. Number two as well. Super pretty. And I love that point of view in number one. But dude, look at these men. Mountain landscape on an alien world. 5.1 does landscapes amazing. Look how pretty these are. I have no idea what picture I'm gonna use for the thumbnail of this video. There's way too many to choose from. Scenic beach view on an alien world. Gorgeous. S400, C40, unreal. S400, C4, amazing. Scenic beach view on an alien world in the style of Dawn Mites. Oh my gosh, man. Look at number one. Look at number two. Look at the distance. Look at the detail. Look at the perspective perspective look at the composition holy cow it's amazing scenic beach view on an alien world s400 what can you say in the style of dawn mites oh my gosh number four holy cow these are crazy these are unreal 5.1 just does details so well portrait of an instagram model alien nautical style look at that knitted head weave thing in number one that's crazy look at all of them they're all crazy stylized 400 these are some sweet alien model photo shoots. I know I've shown you a bit of the stylized value already, but let me show you a specific example where I kept the seed number the same. 
And what you're gonna notice is that the stylized value actually doesn't matter that much at higher values, while at lower values, it does change it a lot. Full body, wide angle portrait of an Instagram model, surrealism style, S0, which means it's gonna follow the prompt directly. And these are, you know, okay. I chose C number 893258. Let's see what happens when we raise the style value. Here it is at S75. And I want you to make a mental note of these four pictures. Now here it is at 150. Normally between 75 and 150 is gonna be a pretty big difference. Here, not so much. Here it is at S400, the same. And at S1000, the highest the style value can go. It doesn't really do anything. And David mentioned this earlier today. So just keep that in mind. A higher stylized value doesn't really matter that much, but a low stylized value like zero is going to change your generation a lot. These next two prompts I'm going to show you are a direct comparison between each option in version five. We have base V5, we have 5.1, and we have 5.1 style raw. Full body, wide angle portrait of an Instagram model, maximalism style, S400, seed number 5729358. Version five, this is what it looked like yesterday. Pretty good, right? Nothing really to complain about. Here's the same prompt, same seed on 5.1. Do you like these better? I think I probably do. And here's the generation at 5.1 style raw, which means it's closer to the original version 5 in terms of prompting. It did generate really close to the base 5.1. So when should you use style raw? Maybe when you're trying to get photorealistic pictures on shorter prompts. That's one of the tips I've heard so far. If you know any better use cases, please let me know. Oh my god, you gotta see these, okay? Colorful spaceship, C21523 version 5. Actually, gorgeous. I would have been surprised to have seen these yesterday. I think that's great. I would have thought it needed a longer prompt, but that's still amazing. Same prompt, same seed, 5.1. Look how good these are, man. Oh my gosh. Is one of them going to be the thumbnail? Is it number two? Is it number one? Ah, I don't know. These are crazy, man. Oh, and for the record, here's 5.1 style raw. These are unreal. And that's a little overwhelming. When should you use each of these versions? Maybe you can throw away version five for now, but the difference between 5.1 and 5.1 style raw, I'm not really sure. I suppose 5.1 is gonna add the background and all those extra details. 5.1 style raw is not gonna add that unless you specify it. I think that's what I noticed so far. Let's just go through a couple more random prompts and then you can get out of here and try it yourself. If love was a sin in the style of Tang Yao Hung and Aaron Hansen, looks really similar to the base version five, just so you know. The tornado of light rips through a Lego city. <laughs> Like, how cool these look. I'm not gonna lie. I guess you could probably have gotten these on version 5, but 5.1, I'm in love. Let me put it this way. It does everything you'd expect, but for all of those instances where version 5 didn't work, I think version 5.1 might be the solution. Rustic alien spacesuit, gnawing photography, nails it. Futuristic bow and arrow, no, 5.1 still has a problem with weapons, kinda. Because I tried lightsaber and these aren't that bad. But check out this prompt, Darth. Thanos. I got a lot of these generated so far. I'll show you them all. Oh, they're so cool. Darth Thanos Unsplash, a little more realistic in number one. Darth Thanos C40 S400. Woo, love number three. A lot. C4, look at number three. I mean, sometimes you do just get Darth Vader, and I guess sometimes you just get Thanos. <laughs> but look at number three with his golden chin armor. That's like plated on top of his wrinkles perfectly. That's that is so funny and that is so mid-journey. Ah, uh, gorgeous golden Darth helmet, sick. Going back to this one, I didn't like that he's kind of holding on to the lightsaber. So I hit variations and it gave me these and these were okay. I like the idea of a cross blade over here, but you know, I'm going with number four because it looks like it has the most potential because his left hand, it, it really does look like he's holding on to something. And then I figured mid journey could kind of make it so that he wasn't interacting with the laser directly. So we hit variation again. And then we're at a point where I think number one looks okay. If I really wanted more i'd hit more variations and i bet you'd find something that worked like that's not bad right look at his head like, that's so cool Oof, this is something big to know aspect ratios i actually don't recommend a wide aspect ratio right now or at least i recommend you try a few different ones because look at these now i didn't use the same seed number so this could just be random variants which it obviously is but it's still worth noting neon batman wide 16 by 9 they're cool but look at it at a square ratio of one by one. Number one is insane. Number four is insane, dude. Look at that lighting, the shadows, the depth. 
the outline. Like, holy cow. I really got to try image prompting with 5.1. I'm not going to end this video, but you let me know if you try it and if there's anything I should know. Two by three also looks great. Like, look at that light reflecting off some parts of his bat symbol. So sick. Four by five, also pretty cool. I tried it again at S400 and the wide is, you know, it's good. But look at the four by five. Look at number three, man. Oh, two by three, super nasty. One by one so good. Is one by one going to come back around and be my new favorite? I don't know, but I don't think I can ignore it any longer. So once I saw those, I had to try Darth Thanos again in the smaller aspect ratios. It's pretty good in the one by one. I really like that helmet at number four. And you know what? Number one is also amazing. And number two is really good as well. Four by five. Look at number three. That is Darth Vader as Thanos. Or is it Thanos as Darth Vader? I don't really know. I don't really care. These are insane. Look at the lighting in number one, 5.1. Oh, uh, mid journey, just thank you. And thank you to anyone watching. I really love and enjoy sharing all this progress with you. It makes me happy. I'm glad that we have a shared common interest and I'm really grateful for your time. Thank you. Chaos four, two by three, super sick. Here it is at the wide angle. And you know, I think they're sick. I think they're really good, but something about the tighter, I, I don't know what it is. I guess you'd really have to test it by seed, but for now I'm just going with my gut and I like the, the less wide ratios. Cause look at these, man. Chaos 40 one by one. Two is amazing, three is hilarious. Oh my God, look at number three here, yo. Number four, it kind of looks like a mix of Kratos and Stone Cold Steve Austin there. It's a cool pick. And you know what, number three is a really cool picture as well because that looks real. Like an episode of Star Trek Deep Space Nine. Does anyone else see that? Look at it at two by three, look at number four. <laughs> That's, that's so funny. Love the chaos value. I gotta be honest, I don't really recommend Chaos 40, let alone Chaos 100, but I had to try it myself. These are cool, but that's too much chaos. Way too much chaos. You straight up just get Darth Vader in number three. That's so funny. Number one's a cool picture though. Mm, more craziness. Okay, this is pretty nasty. Chaos 100 S 400. Honestly, all those are so cool. Oh my God, look at number four. What? Holy cow, look at number four here and three and one. Oh, oh, dude. This is the sickest stuff ever. <laughs> This is hilarious. Chaos 100 in the wide aspect ratio. I've got a hunch that the wide ratios are not the answer in 5.1. Number two is pretty cool, but eh, I'm not impressed. However, when you add S400, you know, maybe number four is a pretty cool picture. Nah, you gotta go small. Look how good these are. All right, that's it for 5.1. You go try it yourself now. Let me know what you find. Let me know what I've missed. I hope you're doing well. Take care and I'll see you next time. Peace.